ask Tom on Home Show. Julie from Champions Forest has a question about a roofing adjustment. Yeah, they cut a door into their attic, right? She says the door in, is in a bedroom. It creates attic space without having to climb the, the attic stairs. But because of a few two by fours, it's very difficult to maneuver the space. She wants to know if these two by fours, see the red one there, that one there, the pink one, she calls it pink, and the subsequent ones behind it, can they be repositioned, Tom? They can be repositioned. They cannot be removed without some kind of support. That is a, a strong back that's supporting that rafter length midway, pro approximately midway, because those rafters that are coming down are so I'll long. Put, I'll put the picture back up there. Okay. There you go. go. See, you see that one board going across and these attached to it. That's making a long rafter in, in uh, engineering terms, two short rafters. So it's a support in between. It's like taking a long beam and then putting another post in the middle. So it's, it's supporting it because those rafters without that would start to sag and your roof would start to bow. So they can re be repositioned to support that strong back on a, on a load bearing wall somewhere. I don't know where, cause you have all that stuff there. I can't tell you. And somebody's gonna have to go and look around. So the answer is yes, it can be repositioned. The answer is no, they just can't be cut out. Uh, it just has to be resupported, and that is very important or your roof is going to start sagging. And if you look at that, it's an older home, and you can uh, tell that it's got some uh, older framing techniques on it. So they used to really stretch the rafters out back then and then support them midway. Yeah. Our first house had those um, mm -hmm. because our first house had a wood shingle composition well, of think, a wood shingle roof. I think roof. this one did, too. Yeah, it's and possible. It's, it's redecked, yeah. Yeah, and and uh, we had we had that problem with ours. I, I wonder, Tom, when when we look at these things, let me bring it back up for one more second. I notice sure. those are like at a forty five degree angle coming off. Uh -huh. It I would think that would be the optimal angle for the the job it's trying to do. It will still perform that job at a lower angle or a higher angle. Yeah, you'll just have to put more of them and and just brace it a little differently with someone who's experienced. You just need something to hold that that uh, strong back up. It's always nice to have it at a at a ninety degree angle, but it's, you'll probably have to put a few more in. And and I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the span. All I'm seeing is a small section. But you can re-brace a rafter system all different kinds of ways. It just has to be done with someone who knows what they're doing. And it's not that difficult to do, but that's standard FHA framing right there because, and here's the other issue, Charlie, people don't realize that attics aren't designed to be a basement. You're, they're not designed for you to put stuff in. They're not designed for you to make rooms out of it. They're not designed for you to walk around. It's just a utility space. And in theory, if you could separate the whole rafter system off the house itself and make a whole different system of roofing, uh, it would work even better. But that's what people try to do is convert it and, and make storage space and walk around up there. And it's just not meant to be. So when you start making it something it's not, you got to get creative. This be a job for ideal roofing? I don't know if Ideal Roofing would do it. I think Rudy could go up there and do it. Okay. I don't think Ideal would just support the rafters because they're more of the, if, if they needed a new roof, and they and I'm sure Ideal could go up there and do that, but I don't know if they're going to go out and just mm -hmm. do some re-support, but I think Rudy would. All right. That's one of our home show pros. You'll find them all on our yes. website right there on the home page. Just scroll down. We've got them all right there. There's Rudy's little icon right there. You can click on that. Or if you're not sure and you look for painting and remodeling right here, we've got them by category too to help you out. Now, if you want to send us a question, we'd love to get you. Look at that. We flip positions. Click on the blue Ask Tom button and go ahead and <laughs> nice. uh, um, uh, you can send us a video. You can send it in writing either way. We'd love to get your questions because it helps us. And by the way, you see the little form down there. It says add a file. That's so you can send us a picture. And that helps us to do a better job, as you can see, like we just helped with Julie there. So um, help, help us help you because we post a new one of these every day on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, of course, at homeshowradio.com.